seven seven parts. Wow, I am just sad. I'm surprised that I still have seven parts. All right, so um, seven parts. Uh, we still have a lot more minifigures to go through. And we're only doing ten this time, I promise. Uh, but if you don't know, Harry Potter is very important to this channel. My first set review was a Harry Potter set, Rise of Voldemort set, and I have well, this entire series um, dedicated to Harry Potter. So, uh, check out the set review, um, and after this video, watch this video first. So, I'm going to start uh, with Severus, uh, 2007 Severus Snape. Finally, we get a tan head, or like, a yellow head would have been fine. We don't need a glow in the dark head for Professor Snape. We don't. I, I, I don't get why. It could have used the same expression. It would have worked. Uh, 50 bucks. And they took away the glow in the dark head. Dang. Second minifigure is Hermione Granger. $17. Uh, different hair piece, I guess. Like, I don't get why this minifigure is worth so much. Probably because it was in this set. Um, with a Professor Umbridge. Um, 17 bucks. Our third minifigure is a weird Draco Malfoy who looks like he's trying to go to the bathroom. Uh, 14 bucks. Uh, same set. Um, same Slytherin robes, though. Like, come on. Let go. Give us different shirt variations, okay? We don't want the same shirt variation. That's our third minifigure, I believe. Yep. So our fourth minifigure is, wow, well, Harry Potter. How is Harry, how are they still using, uh, okay, different facial expression, same freaking torso, like, same wrinkle patterns, like, they just use this, and they recolor the tie and the bottom stripes, literally, for each house. Okay, you want to know what I'll get, why Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff aren't, like, we don't really have any main characters. We have Cho Chang, and that's it. Uh, anyways, $13. Um, wouldn't get this, though. Just because same torso. Same facial expression we've gotten before, though. So, we're going to move on to our fifth minifigure. This is the better variation of Dobby. This is the best variant of Dobby. Okay. Um, we have 20 bucks. Now we're in 2010, um, so 2010, yay, so we're finally in the double digits, so 2008-2009, we got no new characters for the Harry Potter franchise, um, but, um, came in the set, so we will be seeing that character, uh, shortly, um, 20 bucks, um, all right, so um, new variation of Dobby. So we also have Harry Potter, uh, seven bucks from this same set. Um, different torso, uh, finally. All right, a new decade, and we finally get a new torso for Harry Potter. Finally, new wrinkle pattern. Not much, but we're getting there. Um, we're seven bucks. I think this is better than this variation. 13 bucks, and this is worth seven. Explain. <laughs> All right, so our seventh minifigure is another variant of Lucius Malfoy. Same hair, same color, different torso. Why did they give him a cape? It's worth only five bucks. Like, Dobby's the only expensive character in this set. Um... But, uh, I would get this minifigure. I mean, I do like that torso. Look at that torso. That's, like, so useful. Um, cool looking. Um, eighth minifigure is Madame Hooch. We have two variants of Madame Hooch. One is worth eight bucks. The other is in part one or two, maybe three. Um, we have that weird spiky hair. This is the one I think is more accurate than the yellow Madame Hooch. Just on the hair color itself. Um, 
we have she's in that set. Um, which I I think I might I would get that. Uh, eight bucks. Uh, twenty ten. Um, uh, still in twenty ten. Um, I do like that torso. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, for um, a rich person. Um, so our eighth minifigure is I think. Oh wait, no, this is our ninth. Uh, yeah, this is our ninth, um, so we do only have one more to go. Um, this is a very short video, uh, but uh, it's either Crab or Goyle. It's a Slytherin person who plays for Slytherin. Come on. Um, I do really like that shirt. It is on uh, Draco Malfoy, who we will see next. Uh, but his characters are from 2010. 2010. Um, I do like that hair piece, though. I mean, look at that hair piece. We're finally getting better hair pieces that best better resemble the characters. Finally. Okay. Draco Malfoy, our third, or tenth. Why, why did I get there? Tenth and final figure for this video. Um, finally. Okay, finally. Okay, we're in the, the good figures. The actual good mini figures. This one's worth 10 bucks and also from 2010. Um, I do really like the shirt, as I said before. Cape comes with no accessories. This guy came with a broom. He comes with, like, nothing. Like, his father bought, like, the entire team brooms and looked at his son and said, Oh, no, you have to earn your wife. Oh, your team? I don't care about them. I, I, I always give them money, but you, you out there in your your keep around here. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. In the movie, he did get those two thousand Nibius two thousand and one broom. Okay, why are the brooms like have the weirdest names? Why can't they just call them a galaxy broom or something? That'd be fun. Um, but so you're telling me that. The, 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 the Nibby's company has come up with 2001 variations of a problem. And they just decided to just keep going up in number. Oh, what, what do you have? You have a Nibby's 1,799? I have a Nibby's 1,798. You must be. They tell me they couldn't, like, come up with different names. Like, oh, this is the Cheetah. And this is the, the Firebolt. And this is the, the Volcano. No, this sh sh went up in no uh, Okay, like, okay, in all seriousness, um, I do, I do really like that hair piece. Uh, I think the new modern blonde is more accurate to the figure himself. Um, so that's been it. Ten figures. I promised we'd only do ten, and do ten only we did. So that's ten more figures that we don't got to do. Yay. Um. That's going to be it for this video. Very short and to the point.